Hey, what is happening, YouTube? It's your boss CB here. So happy to be here with you guys. And today we'll be checking out on the newest update coming to Art of Congress. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and let's get straight to the video. One of the biggest changes coming to Art of Congress is the Hero Mastery. It is just like the Draconic. Once you have reached Stronghold level 40, you can unlock Hero Mastery at the Hero Interface. And you can unlock and upgrade Masteries to give your heroes attribute buffs. So basically health and attack and maybe some special skills to your heroes. And you will need the corresponding scrolls to upgrade Masteries. These can be obtained by exchanging scroll scraps. So this is basically just like the Draconic. So you need the Draconic Dust to get the crystals. So just same as that. And to be real honest with you guys, this can either make or break the game. So pretty recently, Lilith has been adding a lot of stuff to the game, making the game a whole lot complicated. And all those guys who have spent money inside the game, they need to spend a whole lot more if they want to stay competitive inside PvP. Now moving on to the next one, we got Pinnacle Adjustment. Buffs for the Pinnacle event have been fully adjusted. Now heroes play more important roles during battles. Also, they have added a couple more Pinnacle floors. And also they have adjusted how many floors a player can skip based on the realm age and the player's core power. Now this is really good considering the pinnacle has been getting super super hard lately. Even with hired max level heroes, pretty much it is impossible to clear a couple stages. For the next one we got troop adjustments. The snipers are getting nerfed. Their headshot damage has been reduced from 50 times damage to 30 times. Now me personally really don't like this one because we haven't seen how strong a troop will become when we are at level 50 stronghold. So pretty much you are going to be looking at 30 million to 50 million health trees and also the gladiator heroes with the hero mastery they will be getting super tangy and with the snipers getting nerfed like this pretty much it is saying goodbye to the dwarf meta. So they have been meta for a really long while and right now people are not even going to use send snipers anymore. For the next one, we really love this one. Undying Army now allows all non summon massive units to delay death by 4 seconds. So, every Treants, Mech, whatever units, man, pretty much they are gonna be staying alive for a long while inside battle. For the next one, we got some really cool changes to Draconic. Draconic of enemy attack power reduction is increased from 30% to 40%, and also the target will have its attack speed reduced by 6 to 30% instead of 5 to 20%. So a 10% increase that is looking really good. Also shining scales will reduce your target's accuracy by 6 to 30%. And also with a healing spell, any healing effects on dragon will be increased from 5 to 25 to 8 to 40%. So that is literally good. Close to 50% healing man. That is really good. Rapid regeneration grants 0.3 to 1.5% per second. That is also really good. Deafening roll will grant 70% instead of 50% health recovery. So all the healing spells, the primal will, will be healing your dragon by a whole lot, especially the prism set which will heal your dragon will be doing its best. So definitely after this update, your dragon will be staying a long while inside the battlefield. For the next one, we are getting a new Drake mage set. So that means plus one to all abilities and also 2p set will also grants a buff. So make sure you save up your Drake season chest, do not open it yet. We are also having some changes where lords and ministers can easily send message to their beloved members and also they can add city info inside the message and also there is a limit to these messages. So the divine trial and every single co-op events are getting 3 new difficulty levels challenge, elite and nightmare. So pretty much we want to see how hard nightmare events are gonna get and they also increase the rewards for passing the harder mode. So pretty much we want to see how good these events are right now and also there will be still 4 star difficulty levels and according to your realm condition they, the system is automatically gonna select a mode for the players. So basically, the amount of higher core power players you have in your realm will definitely be taken into account when they are selecting the difficulty levels. For the next one, we are getting one of the biggest updates. You can now purchase some $100 sets 3 times. So instead of spending $100 right now guys, you can spend $300. <laughs> Anyway, moving on, you can now view the troop capacity in the training interface. So this is really good, else we have to go click away and go to our army, check the capacity, go to troop training. So this is gonna be a really big problem for us. So they have actually fixed this one. So this is looking really good. 
the open tent button for chest item has been changed to open multiple so pretty much you can literally tap this one and select how many chests you want to open so pretty much if you have 100 or 150 chests saved up instead of clicking that 15 times you can only just click it once and open every single thing and that is pretty much it for the video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have, make sure you leave a like on this video and let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think of the new update do you like it or do you not like it just let me know down in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the next video until then peace out guys and have a nice awesome day